Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, how do you do? I am Tendwa from the Research Unit of Bioinformatics at Rhodes University. Our investigation was based on generating new phosphate parameters for ion center in the hydropyramidine dehydrogenase protein. What is DPD? DPD protein is a protein that metabolizes 5-AFU, which is 5-fluorouracil cancer drug. The third most common prescribed gastrointestinal cancer drug, in fact. However, due to genetic variation, some of the population cannot degrade this drug leading to toxicity. Our aim was to investigate the molecular mechanism of action of this protein, but we experienced challenges due to the existence of four clusters, of four metal clusters per monomer, of which the iron phosphates were not available. Therefore, this study derived new phosphate parameters for the ion centers in this protein. Firstly, we had to model the human protein, which crystals, crystal structure was not available using a PIGS template, which was obtained from the protein data bank. Subsequent modeling was done using Modeler. Thereafter, we derived ion phosphate parameter using original seminario method and automated seminario method as a supportive measure. For each method termed as model one and model two, a hollow and a hollow drug bound systems where fossil parameters were derived. The bond length, dihedral, force constants were also obtained. Thereafter, 150 nanosecond MD simulation was done to validate the phosphate parameter. Visualization of the derived parameters show that the bonds were intact and correct charges were allocated to the metal centers. Geometry optimization also ensued, was seen to ensue at the 20, 225th step. Furthermore, we monitored the distance between the ion and the connecting residues, and it was seen to be maintained throughout the simulation. Further validation using root mean square of deviation and radius of gyration show that the stability and the compactness of the protein was maintained in both hollow and hollow bound system of each model. More interestingly, the residues connected to the ion center showed least fluctuation, which, which means that uh, the derived parameters were good. And uh, whereas the loop regions of the protein showed uh, higher fluctuations. Furthermore, the principal component analysis show that both the hollow and the drug bound system showed a similar conformation phase space, suggesting the derived phosphate parameters did not compromise protein function. Therefore, we can say that the result indicated that we had generated authentic phosphate parameters for the ion center in DPD protein. And more importantly, this laid a platform for subsequent investigation for molecular mechanism of action of this protein. For more information about this in investigation, you can read our publication as indicated here. Therefore, we want to thank the CHPC and Health3 Africa Bionet for supporting our research endeavors. Thank you so much for listening.